Welcome to my studio. I'm Beverly Clary. I'm creating 52 abstract artworks in 52 weeks. I'm doing this so I can relax in my creating time. Now how is this relaxing? Creating this number of works by next May does not allow me to worry about mistakes in individual pieces. Red Playground Finish What You Started was almost confrontational with the bold marks and pointers. I enjoyed its three-dimensional look. Today is the finale of making Red Playground 8 to 9. I'm using colored pencil to give it dimensionality. The paper for the current works is much rougher. I find my creativity is boosted even more because of the problems I've had to resolve because of the rough paper. I wanted to add a measure of dimensionality to Red Playground 8 and 9, but I knew it would need to be expressed differently to the earlier work. I have decided I am going to go ahead and fill that in, make it more dimensional. Because of their pre-treatment, the paper for these two pieces is really rough. This prevents me from giving them the 3D form similar to Red Playground Finish What You Started. So I'm giving them a look similar to ancient Mediterranean tiles. I really like the designs inside the square. The temptation is to add form to each little shape. I simply don't have enough time. I wasn't as consistent as maybe I could have been, but I'm going to stop working on this side. The temptation is to continue to develop the dimensionality of some more of the interior pieces. I actually want some of the lovely coloring left over from where I applied the layers of ink tints to kind of be on display. What do you think? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. I think that's it for this one. The roughness of the pre-treatment and the problems that I had to solve in order to overcome them has given me a work quite different than what I originally anticipated. The most important thing I've learned with these two works is that solving problems is a great way to enhance creativity. The works are markedly different from their companion piece, Red Playground, Finish What You Started. However, I really like the difference. My studio dog is coming in. Lori has left the building, and only whenever Lori leaves the building do I get to have first place in this little dog's life. <laughs> okay, go lay down. Go on, lay down. Go lay down. Good dog. We're done with our colored pencils. This is the original Can Red Come Out and Play number eight, and this is the derivative piece. And this is Can Red Come Out and Play number nine with its derivative piece, Red Playground number nine. How very interesting. What do you think about these two pieces? Please let me know in the comments. Now, I need you to help me to name these pieces. As you know, the working title is Red Playground number eight and number nine. If you've got a better name for them, please comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Join me next time as I pursue creating number four, five, and six out of 52 works. You can see the start of my Red Playground journey by clicking here.